Uh, I've got a question for Jeffrey, if I may. Okay. How did you rate Taichi Ono's people skills? Short answer. <laughs> terrible. Me. Thank you. Terrible. Get that terrible. Terrible. Uh, but and he was a genius. Okay. <laughs> and people loved him. People would kill for him. I work with leaders <coughs> who will frighten the life out of their managers on a Monday and then have them die for him on a Friday. Yeah, all this respect for people stuff is horseshit. It is not a point of intervention, is the way I think about it. You know, I see people, I see organisations doing the let's do respect for people programmes. Oh, for Christ's sake. You know, it's a consequence. People respected Ono because of the work he did. And his people skills were pants. So I think it's respect for people stuff. It's a red herring. It's a conventional uh, Western management interpretation because we think it's people that matter. You know, it's the system. Uh, I still not agree with you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> At first when you said 95% was the system and then somebody was saying, well, does that mean that, 90, that, that only 5% is the people? Then I thought you meant that, you know, the people are the system ultimately. I mean, the people. But uh, now it sounds like you really believe that the system is 95 percent, and the people don't matter. See, I didn't say that. Did I say people don't matter? Did I say that? I didn't, did I? I said intervention on people issues is a red herring, but it's a popular red herring amongst Western management thinkers. The paradox is, I mean, you saw those people in Aviva, Aviva, were they intrinsically motivated? Did they score on Dan Pink's autonomy, mastery and purpose? You bet. Were they buzzing and full of life? You bet. Was there any intervention on the people? None at all.